just unbelievable. <laughs> it almost leaves me speechless. Other passages are barely large enough for a person to squeeze through. But Ice Age people explored this cave with nothing more than candlelight. A day's journey. Bruce has traveled over a mile underground to discover a tiny hidden chamber. Within it, something totally unexpected. Absolutely amazing. Now, this, these are just amazing figures. They're sort of elongated lozenge-shaped things, but they look like they've got fins on the ends, and this is why they've been interpreted as seals, and I think it's a good interpretation. And the fact that it's, it's seals as opposed to horses or deer, I think is, it's got to be extremely significant. This may be a really good indication that the Slutrian folks were looking to the sea and more specifically to the edge of the ice for their sustenance, for their new sort of new culture, their new way of living. And this could be an example of, of how important the, the Slutrian people considered these animals to be. Bayorg will hunt seals. It is not a decision he takes lightly. To reach them, he must lead an expedition to the most dangerous place they know. The Atlantic Ocean. Bayorg knows seals can be found beyond the horizon. He will take his daughter Zia, his son Guyan, and Guyan's friend Giard. Everyone else will await their return. The younger generation have never been far out in the open ocean before. Bayorg fears for their lives. They must be totally self-sufficient. Where they're going, there will be no firewood and no fresh water. Oof. Zia's in charge of life support. Without her dried lichen for tinder, there will be no fire. They pack specially designed seal harpoons. They may not return for weeks. Their boat, covered in skins and waterproofed with fat, will be their home. The hunters are pursuing seals. Their hides, meat, and especially their fat might save their clan. But they have good reason to be apprehensive. because the seals inhabit a totally alien environment. The pack ice. It's a rich hunting ground, but full of hidden dangers. Seals feed and breed amid the ice. They are at home among the powerful freezing currents that run beneath.
last ice age, Arctic conditions reached deep into southern Europe. But scientists had no idea what a dramatic impact this had on the ocean. Until now. We weren't there ourselves. We, didn't, we don't know what it was like, but we believe that we can reconstruct what it must have been like. To find out, Richard Peltier and his team at the University of Toronto fed every known piece of Ice Age data into a vast supercomputer, the largest of its kind in the world. Crunching numbers for five months, the computer unveiled a detailed picture of conditions for every single day of the last Ice Age. We get a picture of how salty the water was everywhere, at every point in the global ocean, at what the temperature was. Similarly, in the atmosphere, we make predictions of how cloudy it was during the month of February, 21,000 years ago. But in the Atlantic Ocean, the data revealed something shocking. Every year in Ice Age Europe, the clan's world was utterly transformed. At the onset of winter, the entire coast of Europe froze. The ice reached as far south as the Mediterranean. But even more dramatically, this ice extended as a 30-foot thick sheet across the middle of the Atlantic. And all the way to North America. Two million square miles of ocean would freeze solid every year. Europe and North America, connected by almost 4,000 miles of ice. An ice bridge. Could the clan use this to discover America? While tracking seals, the hunters are focused on survival. Where warm currents meet the pack ice, life is abundant. But they need more than fish if they are to feed the clan back home. The frozen seas were fed by vast glaciers, often over a mile thick that dumped billions of tons of nutrient-rich soil into the water. These nutrients were carried under the ice flows, providing the ideal environment for microscopic algae to grow. The algae provided a rich harvest. It supported billions of fish. In turn, this meant populations of birds and seals massively increased. For the hunters who faced starvation on land, the ocean was bountiful. After a week of hard paddling, they are now almost 100 miles off the French coast. They set up a camp on the edge of the ice. Their boat, when flipped over, doubles as a shelter. They set off to hunt. They may need to travel half a day before they find seals. Every step they take could be their last. Hidden cracks in the ice spell instant death. A free-swimming seal is impossible to catch, but Bayorg knows another way. 